Okay, so, you know, I've been going through some of those films that dropped during lockdown. We did Bill and Ted um, last week. And this week, I decided to finally check out Uncharted, right? Based on um, computer game series, which is, I feel it's been going around for a while, right? I believe so. I don't know. I don't play uh, computer games anymore, man. Oh, yeah, I did love my Commodore 64 back in the day. But uh, yeah, you know, this film dropped in, uh, I don't know, what, earlier this year? I feel, I think that was right. It might have been, like, I'd lose track. I lose track. But yeah, so, um, you know, it hit now TV. I was like, yo, let me check it. Right, it's directed by Ruben Fleischer, uh, written by Rafe Judkins, Art Markham, and Matt Holloway. There are a, a lot of producers on this. Oh my gosh, like Ari Arad and Avi Arad, uh, Alex Gartner, you've got Charles Roven. Executive produced by Evan Wells, Carter Swan, Azad Quiz, Quizelbash, Art Markham, Matt Holloway, Tom Holland, Ruben Fleischer, Neil Druckmann, Robert J. Doraman, David Bernard. Uh, line produced by Fernando Buffil and Arno Neuber, along with Carlos Ruiz Boqueta. It is co produced by Charlie Wobuchan, uh, Henning Mulfenter. Christopher Giza and Elise Callis. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, people doing their thing. It's also associate produced by Brian Rayer. Music is Ramin Dajawadi. Uh, cinematography was Chong Hoon Chong. It's edited by Chris Leban Zon and Richard Pearson. Casting, we've got Denise Shaman, Priscilla John, Orla Maxwell, Yale Moreno, John Papasidra, and Anna Liana Slater. Production design is Shepard Frankiel. Um, and our cast. Well, Nathan Drake is played by Tom Holland. Victor Sullivan, a.k.a. Sully, played by Mark Wahlberg. We've got Chloe Frazier, who is played by Sophia Ali. Uh, Joe Braddock is played by Tati Gabrielle. We got Santanigo Moncado, played by Antonio Banderas. Um, his father, Armando Moncado, is played by Manuel Di Blas. Um, we have also got. Young Nate, played by T Tyrion Jones, and his brother Sam, Young Sam, is played by Rudy Pankow. Uh, we've got a couple of henchmen, the Scotsman, played by Stephen Waddington, Hugo, played by Pingy Molly. Uh, um, we have Carlos, played by Joseph Baldarama. Goldie, played by Serena Pasadino. 
and Zoe, played by Alana Bowden. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I guess, with Sister Bernadette. She's played by Georgia Goodman. But I would say that's probably uh, our main lot, really. Um, yeah. Now, the gist of the flick. So, street smart Nathan Drake is recruited by seasoned treasure hunter Victor Sullivan to recover a fortune amassed by Ferdinand Magellan um, and lost 500 years ago by the house of Moncada. What starts as a heist job for the duo becomes a gold globe trotting white knuckle race to reach the prize before the ruthless Santiago Moncado, who believes he and his family are the rightful heirs. If Nate and Sully can decipher the clues and solve one of the world's oldest mysteries, they stand to find five billion in treasure and perhaps even Nate's long lost brother Sam, but only if they can learn to work together. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I guess, right, it's this film is kind of like a Indiana Jones, you know what I mean? Um, I feel that's what they want this to be, right? An Indiana Jones esque franchise. I can't remember if it the Uncharted came before or after Lara Croft, but again. It's a very similar thing, you know? So this has... They've been talking about doing this film for friggin' years, right? For ages. People wanted, like, Nathan Fillan to be, uh, you know, Drake, right? That, you know, there was a huge campaign at one point for that to happen. But, uh, yeah, didn't... Didn't go to plan, you know, and they got Tom Holland, who, look, we, we, we know what Holland does in Spider-Man. He kills it. You know, I mean, he's done well in other films and all of that. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's, I, I think they, yeah, they, they kind of put together a decent enough um endeavor if that's your bag right if you like that sort of thing then i think i think this might work for you you know i mean for me it felt a little mission impossible too you know what i mean little mission impossible one was crazy it was fun it, it wasn't like you know, they definitely, in the later ones, they've stepped it up. But Mission Impossible 2, it was like, they realised, oh, the, the, the whole face, false face thing was good. So then we just, they went over the top with it. They used it so much, right? So much. And you're just like, okay, <sighs> again. You know what I mean? It just felt a little lazy. And the one, like, the one huge thing in Uncharted, so many double crosses. So many double crosses. And you're just like, wait, what? what is happening here? Right? When you're trying to, uh, you know, elude bad guys, Right? You, you're trying to ensure you don't get killed. You're not hanging with people who have repeatedly double-crossed you. It's just not a thing. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of stuff that goes down which just seemed real unnecessary. Right? You'd be like, wait, what? What is... I don't understand. Why? Why? Why are they doing that? What's going on here? You know what I mean? It was a bit odd. You know, like, 
the lot of cliches, you know, the two brothers, one has to leave. It's like, I promise I'll come back. You know what I mean? It's just like, ah. I don't, it's like, I don't know how much of this is in the video games, how much is being, you know, artistic license to flesh out the film. I don't know. You know what I mean? But, yeah, like, the whole thief part didn't really seem necessary. Right? It, it was just like, ah, uh, what are we, what are we doing? You know, he's, he's a barman. Of course, he's a great barman. Like, he, he, it's always kind of interesting with these things. You've got someone, look, he's a barman. But he's living in a very nice place. You know what I mean? And look, real estate in New York is c -c crazy expensive. So many people I know you know what I mean? They, they, they're like flat sharing because to afford it, you know, the rent yourself is insane. So how the fuck is a barman doing? You know what I mean? It's just little bits like that that you're always kind of like, hmm, what is happening? We at least see him work out, right? We at least see that he works out because to do all the jumps and all of that, you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. That seems uh, very unrealistic. Like we start off with this whole sequence from a helicopter. No, a no it wasn't, it's a plane. Yeah, it was like a, a carrier um, jet thing. Do they call it carrier jet or harrier jet? One of those big things which you put stuff in. You know, it's one of those. And all the all the kind of uh, crates have come out and he's hanging by his foot and it's just fighting and jumping and just all of that. Everything that would be very impossible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, being, holding on with one hand to something as you're falling and then you've just got the wind and just, yeah, that's not happening, right? And even if you work out, like, jumping and hanging and uh, you're just like, no, 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 no. Traveling at that speed and grabbing, so you're most likely going to dislocate your fucking arm. You know, there's just, just so much stuff which you're just like, wait, what? Huh? And I think that's the big thing. We open up with that sequence and I get what they're trying to do. Give us this action. Be like, yo, this is what you can expect. But I was just like, what kind of foolishness is this? You know what I mean? It just seems crazy. So then we kind of go, boom. And, it, you know, it's one of those ones where you start midway, but then jump to the, to, you know, to the beginning and tell the story. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what we do. You know, there's there's just all of these things, like some, but I, I know, I know your brother, we can do it. And it's just these lies, right? All of these lies and everything like that, just, they would give anyone pause. Right, it, it just seems kind of weird that it just continues and continues. Then you've got, you know, like double crossing on the bad guy's side, right? The son and the dad, just all of that. And just like we don't, we, you know, the dad's like, I'm going to give away our fortune. Ah, oh, it's dirty money. And it's just like, oh, what? Because he's an old dude. He's probably, what, 80 outside? And you kind of think, okay, what was the thing that caused you to have this revelation, right? Because it's not like they wouldn't have known really where their fortune came from. So what was the thing that sparked this change of heart, you know, at such a late stage in life? You know what I mean? There's these things that are lingering, and necessarily we don't need to know, but 
it kind of then makes the double crossing and things like that more like, okay, right, I get it. Because otherwise it's just a bit like, eh, all right, fine, fine, let's do this. You know, there's obviously a connection between Sully and Joe, which we don't have a clue really what that is. Were they partners? Were they lovers? What was the deal? You know, there's all these things that get thrown out there and just left dangling in the wind. I don't know if it's like they expect to kind of, oh, we'll pick up this thread in a sequel because, yeah, like, especially we get two cut scenes which just speak to the sequel, right? Are there to get you like, oh, there might be a sequel. You know what I mean? That, and I think the film made enough money to probably get that. I, I believe they're talking about it right now. But yeah, there's, there's a, you know, Sophia Lee's character, Chloe, right? There's a, <laughs> there's just a bit where she's like, um, oh, I've been backstabbed too many times to, to realize that you can't trust anyone. And it's just like, okay, when someone has saved your life several times, it, it, you're, you're like, I can't, you know what I mean? It just seemed, it, it was, it's a weak explanation for this pointless bit, right? And that was a thing that was just too many of those situations where I'm just watching this and I'm just kind of bored, right? Like, I think we, I think most people will know, if you find a relic which has been kind of stored in a vacuum as such, and then you put that to the, you know, air, it's going to fall apart, right? So just <laughs> that whole thing at the end, you're just like, yeah, that's never going to happen. You'd never do that. What the fuck? It, yeah, it was all a bit, it's all a bit weird. All a bit weird. And listen, one more thing I'm going to say about this, right? In these sorts of films, we see people, like, fall into the sea, like, jump into, like, ponds and rivers and all of that kind of thing. Never... In the back of my mind, they're thinking, I hope there's no sharks down there. I hope there's no anacondas, no gators. You know what I mean? They, they, they always seem to land in bodies of water that are absolutely devoid of predators. <laughs> Where you're just like, yo, know, especially around, you know, the, the Caribbean and Thailand and all of that. There are monsters in the fucking sea. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel if mad things are falling in, that's going to be like, you you get the sharks and be like, oh, what could be here? You know what I mean? Let's go feed. So, um, yeah, the, there is that as well. I, I was kind of like, that's interesting. <laughs> but listen, if you enjoy, like the Fast and the Furious, if you enjoy... Um, if you, you know, Monster Hunter, that probably, I feel, came out around about the same time as this. You know, if they're your bag, right, if you enjoyed the Tomb Raider, especially the Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider films, <laughs> you know what I mean? National Treasure. If those sorts of things get, get your blood pumping, you know, then I think Uncharted will work for you. I think you'll enjoy it. You know, it's just not my type of thing. You know, I do like an action adventure, but yeah, not not when a Mission Impossible to it, man. You know what I mean? But yo, it's out. Enjoy. <laughs>